Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Zoneta, Polish girl living in Taiwan. It's been two, three years since our last visit to Lugan, a town renowned for its old architecture and rich history. If you love exploring historic sites, this is the place for you. Our first stop was the Wenwu Temple, where we were pleased to find a free parking area. This historic site is actually a three-in-one complex. The Wenwu Temple complex includes the Wenkai Academy on the left, the Wenyu Temple in the center, and the Wu Temple on the right. The Wenyu and Wu Temples were built in 1812, while the Wenkai Academy was established in 1824. This site is a blend of literature and martial arts temples. During the Japanese occupation, the Wenwu Temple served as military camp and a classroom for Lugan Public School. In 1914, 25 people donated money for its renovation. Some buildings were destroyed by fire in 1975, but they were rebuilt 10 years later, though not in their original form. In front of the temple, you can also see Pant. Lugan, the oldest city in Zhanghua, was a crucial seaport in the 18th century and was once the second largest city in Taiwan. Today, it's recognized as one of Taiwan's 10 small tourist towns. In Lugan, there are many ancient temples, like Longshan Temple and Mazu Temple, with over 200 temples dedicated to various deities. Following the roads, we stopped at drinking shop and I highly recommend their tea. They also suggested some local food, but the first recommended place wasn't that great. The meat buns had very little feeling. Continuing our journey, we saw an old train station that now serves as a care center. We later arrived at Jiuqiu Lane, also known as Jinsheng Lane. Historically, this lane was designed with winding pathways to prevent bandit invasion. This unique design earned the nickname Kurt Vlain. Within the lane, there is an overhead corridor connecting both ends leading to the legendary gathering place for scholars, known as Xi Tower. Adjacent to it is an early defensive structure. It's one of many tiny lanes around the town. At the end of Jiuqiu Lane, we found a market where we enjoyed some delicious noodles. There is also a popular shaped ice shop. Another interesting stop was the Luga Museum of History. The Lugan Street Dormitory, built in 1935 during the Japanese occupation, 
how's the administrative organization overseeing Lugan. Post-war, the building served as a staff dormitory and warehouse for the Lugan town office. It was designed as a historic building in 2002 and renovated in 2004. The dormitory is a Japanese-style all-wood building, reflecting the architectural style of Lugan town during the Japanese occupation. It has since been repurposed as the Lugan Town History Museum, showcasing literature, history books and old photographs of Lugan. Lugan was a significant seaport in the 18th and 19th centuries and was the most populous city in the central Taiwan until the early 20th century. In March 2012, it was named one of the top 10 small tourist towns by the Tourist Bureau of Taiwan. The township's name, which means Deer Port, came from its deer skin trade during the Dutch period. For temple enthusiasts, there are many old temples in Lugan. The city boasts over 200 temples dedicated to various folk deities. Preparations were underway for the annual Opera God Festival to celebrate Marshal Tiendu's birthday organized by Lugan Yuchu Temple. As we walk further, we arrived at Lugan Old Street. But more about that in my next video. So stay tuned and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.